some technical problems. <laughs> so sitting in nice position. Keep your spine stretching parallel to the floor. Close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Again, today we are working on our core strengthening. Condition yourself for yoga practice. Long inhale, long exhale, breathing through the nose. Relax your facial muscles, your shoulders are relaxed, no tension. Just bring awareness to every inhale, every exhale you are taking. Gently open your eyes. Namaste again. Who just appear online. We will start with our neck warming up. Bring your chin to your chest. And slowly move your chin all the way up with an inhale. Exhale down to your chest. Shoulders are moving down. Inhale up. Again, exhale down. Inhale up. Don't rush and do every movement. Exhale down and inhale up. One more time. Exhale down and inhale up. Come back to center. Start to move your head very slowly from one side to another. Using again your breath. Inhale one side. Exhale, moving to the other. Very slowly, don't rush. Very gently, look right in front of you. Don't raise your eyes, looking up as it gives you tension in your neck. Good. Come back to the center and now bring your right here towards your right shoulder. Shoulders again moving down, not up, and very slowly change. Again, change, change, again, change, and change again, and one more time. Come back to center, so you do full circles with your head. If you have a spondylitis yeah, on your back, you will just do hops. You will just roll your head from down to the shoulder. If you have no problems with your neck, just do full circles with your head. Very slowly, try to keep your eyes open. It's keeping our system more strong if we keep our eyes open. Open, change direction. Very good. And come back to center. Bring your hands to the side. Your fingers looking up. Imagine you are pushing wall away from you. So the wall is trying to squeeze you and you are pushing this wall away from you. Stay and breathe. Do not hold your breath. And now bring your fingers looking down and your wrist looking up. Again, up and down. Up and down. Very good. Bring your hands down 
and bring all the way up. Again, exhale down and inhale all the way up. Down and up. Two more times. Bring it down and up. Lengthen in the spine, chin parallel to the floor. One more time. Hands down and up. Please exhale, turn and twist to the right. Lengthen in your spine, moving the crown of your head up. Inhale, come back to the center, hands up. And exhale, change. Look in front of you. Again, inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hands up. Again, we are doing twist. To the right. And inhale, hands up. And we are doing twist to the left. Come back, bring your hands up and release down. Bring your hands to your shoulders, spread the power into the floor and start your shoulders circles. Trying to bring your elbows together and moving backwards. And release. Right hand to the side, left hand up. Beautiful stretch of the side muscles. Come back and exhale, change to the other side. Don't drop your head, keep intact. Again, change. Bring your hand up above your head, palm looking down. And again, change. And one more time, each side. Don't forget to breathe. This is really good, expanding our lungs, especially if you're doing long inhale, long exhalation. And release. Extend your legs. Make sure you are sitting on your sitting bones. Keep your spine straight. You can always put some pillow under your hips. Point your toes out and stay. Just point, 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 point. And flex. Again, point. And flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Little feet away from each other. Start your ankle circles. We are not in a rush. We are enjoying our gentle movements and change the side. Keep your spine. Up, good, and slowly release. And we will come on our four, four cut and cow. So first one, we will bring our hands, fingers looking at our knees, knees hip distance. And with exhale, we will move your hips back Pressing your palms to the floor to feel a beautiful stretch in your wrist. And inhale, come back. Again, exhale, moving your hips back, 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 more stomach in. And come back. And one more time. Moving back. And come back. Raise your hands. Bring. Your fingers looking in front, wrist under your shoulders, your hips stuck above your knees. Inhale, open your chest, look up. 
Exhale, round your back, change your chest, stomach in, tuck your tummy in. Inhale, again, lift your chest up, look up, shoulder blades moving towards your hips. And exhale, round, stomach in, chin to your chest. Inhale, up. And exhale, round. Every movement, slowly. This breathing. And exhale, round. Stomach in, chin to your chest. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Come back to natural spine and we will do spinal balance. And we will hold it. The pose. You will bring your right leg parallel to the floor. And you will lift your left hand parallel to the floor. And you walk down. Stomach slightly in. We are really working on our core strengthening. So here, our glutes are working, our abdominal muscles working, our spinal muscles also engage. And stretch. Push your hand in front, your leg back. Long inhale, long exhale. Don't drop on one shoulder, lift. Long inhale. And long exhale. We are looking down. We are not compressing our neck. One more inhale. And exhale. Slowly release your hand down. And we change the side. Left leg comes up. Keep bones looking down. And other hand comes. Right hand up. Look down. Stretch. Stomach in, the hand which is on the floor, pushing floor away, lifting your shoulder more up. Long inhale and long exhale. Stomach in, breathe. Long inhale and long exhale. Slowly release. And we will repeat one more time. Your right leg comes up, left hand up, and stretch. Look down, engage your muscles, and breathe. Deep inhale, and deep exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Slowly release and change. Simple but not that simple, huh? Change your leg and your arm. Look down. Connect your breathing with your movement. Do not hold your breath. Stay. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Very slowly release. Come sit in Vajrasan on your heels. Extend your hands and do some movement for your wrist. Yeah, we need a lot of pressure now. So move your wrist one direction and change it. And we will come to variation of the tiger pose. You will come again on your floor. You will lift your right leg up, moving your foot up. And with left hand, you will hold your foot and open your chest. So you are not opening to the side. You are lifting everything up. And we are staying there. You are here, heel, not moving to your hip. It's moving back. Look in front or you can look up and stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Stomach in 
and slowly release and we will change left leg comes up hold with your right hand open your chest look up and stay breathing in and out breathing in and out and slowly release tuck your toes and come to your first downward facing dog feet hip distance and start bend one leg at the time pedaling our legs stomach in lengthening the spine you can bring chin to your chest to have more length on your neck breathing in and breathing out bring your heels down as much as you can look in front and start to walk with your legs in front feet hip distance forward bend you can soften your knees slightly bend your legs and round your back very slowly come all the way up and release your shoulders down good and we will do a few Surya Namaskars. Surya Namaskar is also very good to strengthen your core. You can keep your feet hip distance or feet together, it's up to you. Inhale, bring your hands up, Hastasana, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Again, you can only soften your knees, slightly bend. Relax your head, relax your neck. Right leg goes back, knee to the floor. Ashas and Chalanasana, look up. Hands to the floor and step to downward facing dog. Feet hip distance. Knees to the floor, chin chest to the floor. Ashtang Namaskar, your elbows close to your body. Inhale, slide in front and come for the Jankasana. So your hands just on the ground. You are not taking support of your hands. Tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. Stomach in. Look in front. Step with your right leg in front, left knee to the ground, your front knee 90 degrees, yeah? Look up. And step in front for full forward bend, Uttanasana. Relax your head, relax your neck. And inhale, come all the way up. Gentle back bend. And release your hands down. Namaste. Again, inhale, hands up, gentle back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Left leg moves back, we are not rushing. Look up, ashas chalanasana. Hands to the floor and step to downward facing dog. Stomach in. Knees to the ground, chin chest down, Ashtang Namaskar, hips up, stomach in. Inhale, slide in front and come to high cobra, moving your shoulders away from your ears. Tuck your toes and come back to downward facing dog. Look in front. Step with your left leg in front, Ashas and Chalanasana, look up. And step in front, full forward bend, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, coming all the way up, gentle back bend, look up. And bring your hands down, Stit Pratanasana. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward bend. Right leg moves back, knee to the ground, look up. Hands to the ground, step to downward facing dog. Stomach in, knees to the ground, chin chest down, Ashtanga Namaskar. And inhale, slide in front, lift your chest up. And tuck your toes, come to downward facing dog. Look in front, right leg comes in front, Ashas and Chalanasana, look up. And step in front for full forward bend. Inhale, coming up, gentle back bend. And release your hands down, Sit Pratanasana. Last round. Remember, we are not moving our hands from the moment we put our hands on the ground. They are not moving. You can adjust with your legs, your feet, but you are not moving your hands. Inhale, hands up. Gentle back bend. Exhale, forward bend. So there is your hands. Wherever you put them, this is where they glued. Left leg moves back. Look up. And back to downward facing dog. Stomach in, chin to your chest. Knees to the floor, chin chest to the ground. Slide all the way up for high cobra. And tap your toes, come into downward facing dog. Look in front. Left leg comes in front, look up, Ashas and Chalanasana, and step in front for full forward bend. Inhale, coming all the way up, gentle back bend, and bring your hands down, sit Pratanasana, and close your eyes. You can keep your hands in Namaste or you can bring it down. Long inhale and long exhale. Again, long inhale and long exhale. Open your eyes. And next our pose will be Utkatasan. So if you have a block, you can use block or to squeeze your knees together. If you can do it without the block, it's totally fine. Your feet together, hands on both sides. Inhale, swing your hands down, lifting forward Utkatasan. Lifting your lower abdomen up. No arch in your lower back. Hands up and stay. Squeeze those knees together. With your eyes open up, don't compress your neck. Just your eyes looking up and stay. Long inhale and long exhale. Long inhale and long exhale. Stretch those arms up, engage your muscles in your abdomen. One more inhale and exhale. And slowly release your hands down. Everything comes down and you will come to eagle pose. Again, you will bend your legs round, twine around your other hand. Bring one hand in front, intertwine your hands, 
and calm for Eagle Pose, Garudasana. You will lift your elbows slightly up and slightly straightening your standing leg. Find your balance, you can always use the wall. If you cannot twine your leg, your leg can be just on the ground. Good. And very slowly release everything down. We will change, bend your knees first, twine around your leg, your hips looking exactly in front, and bring your other hand down and stay. Don't lean in front. Please do not hold your breath. Stomach in. And slowly release the pose. Good. And next our pose, we will come in front of our mat again. Half Surya Namaskar to downward facing dog. Bring your hands up, gentle back bend. And exhale forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up. Flatten your back. And now bring your hands to the floor and stand in downward facing dog. Now you will bring your knee to your chest without moving your upper body and release. Other knee to your chest and release. Again, change. Squeeze your abdomen muscles and release. Again, your left leg to your chest and release. One more time each side. Squeeze and release. Left leg squeeze and release. Stay downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. And now look in front and step with your right leg in front. Again, remember your front leg is 90 degree. You will come all the way up. Your heel, back left foot heel is up. And bring your hands up for high lunge. Lift from waistline, from lower abdomen, everything up. And stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Inhale and exhale. Push your hips down and lifting crown of the head up. Inhale and exhale. And now a little dynamic. Inhale, straighten your front leg. And exhale, bend. Again, inhale, straighten. Find your balance. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. And exhale, bend. Bring your hands to the ground. Step to downward facing dog. Stomach in. Landing in the spine. Stay in the pose. Look in front. Bring your left leg in front for high lunge. Lift your body up. Push your back heel towards your back. Keep slower and bring your hands up. And stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Make sure that your front knee doesn't look inside. Breathing in and out. 
our glutes are working, psoas muscle is engaged, all core muscles are engaged now. And now we will do dynamic, inhale, straighten your leg, finding your balance, and exhale, bend. Inhale, straightening your leg, exhale, bend. Again, inhale, up. Exhale, bend. One more time. Up. And exhale, bend. Bring your hands to the floor. Step to plank. You will do one Chaturanga Dandasana on your knees or classic. Exhale, bending your elbows, coming parallel to the floor. Inhale, come into upward facing dog. Look up. And tuck your toes, come to downward facing dog. Look in front, step with two legs to your hands. Lift your chest up first, inhale. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, coming all the way up. Join your palms above your head, look up. And bring your hands. In Namaste. Very good. And next pose is Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. So here is your variation. You can have your block. You can use the wall if you have it. Yes. Yeah, so with the uh, first, I will show you next to the wall. You standing next to the wall, right foot looking out. Distance four five feet. You will bring your hands in a T position, bend your front leg slightly, lean in front, bring your front, the same hand, right hand in front like 12 inches, press it, put it on the ground and lift your left leg up parallel right to the floor. And after extend your left hand and open your chest. So if you have wall, your shoulder and your heel should be on the wall. This is one variation. If you have a block, again, you are putting your block any level which is comfortable for you, yeah? So we, let's do it half. Your foot is looking exactly at your block, yeah? Out. Other leg is slightly away. You will bend your front leg, lean in front, bring your hand on top of the block, lift your leg up. And extend your other hand up. You imagine that your left hand is on the wall. So your toes looking towards your head. So this is another variation. And if you don't want to use any blocks, or maybe you don't have a block, then you will just come Bringing your hand in front of your foot, 12 inches. Lift your leg up. Find your balance first. And after, extend your hand up, opening your chest. Engage every muscle. And we are staying in the pose. Breathing in. And breathing out. Stretch those arms out of your chest and very slowly release. And we will change the side to the left. Bend your leg, lean in front. Bring your hand 12 inches in front. First, you will lift your leg up. Align your body so you are lifting your chest out of the floor, your hands are straight and you extend your right hand up now. Legs are engaged, legs are straight and stay. Long inhale and long exhale. Long inhale and long exhale. And very slowly 
Come up to sit pose. Good. We will come again in front of your mat. Just close your eyes for a moment or stay with your eyes open, feet wider than your hips. And feel every sensation in your body. Long inhale and long exhale. Open your eyes if they are closed. Turn at the beginning of your mat. And we will do again half Surya Namaskar and we will come to forearm plank. Inhale, bring your hands up, gentle back and look up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up. Stomach in. Hands to the floor. So if you don't reach the floor, you can always have your hands on the shin when you are lifting your chest up. When you need to reach the floor, you are bending your knees, hands to the floor, and you are stepping to the plank first. Knees to the floor. You will bring your forearms to the ground. And you will come to forearm plank. This is full core stabilization. So enjoy in this pose. Don't drop your hips down or lifting up. One line. Look down and stay in the pose. Long inhale and long exhale. You can do it. Stay. Stomach is not sagging down to the the floor. Stomach is in. Stay. Stay. And slowly knees to the floor. Come, relax for a few breaths in Makrasan. Breathing in and out. And now bring your hands next to your chest. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees off the floor. And try this. Inhale. Lift your chest up to a plank. Come to downward facing dog. Feet hip distance. Stomach in. Chin to your chest. Look in front and step with your feet in front. Lift your chest up. Inhale. Again. Your hands can be on your shin. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, coming all the way up. Draw your palms up, look up. And release your hands in Namaste. And we will do standing fire hydrant. Uh, a new pose. Some of my students did with me before. So what you will do, this is also your balancing. First you will come to full forward bend, Uttanasana. You will keep your hands on the ground, lifting your chest. And after you will lift your leg to the side and you will stay in the pose. Stay. If you didn't come in the pose, let's do it again. In Ardha Uttanasana first, lift your leg up to the side and stay. Good. 
Don't hold your breath. Slowly release. And we will change the side. Very slowly. Lift your leg to the side. And stay. And slowly release. Round your back and come up. This one is intense. Come back to the center of, to the beginning of your mat. Inhale, bring your hands up, gentle back bend. And come in full forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up. Again, we are doing just half of Surya Namaskar. Hands to the floor, step to plant. Feet together. And we will come to Vasishthasan, side plank. Foot on foot. If this is difficult for you, you can put one foot in front of the other. And stay, lifting your hips up. Stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Very good. Come back to center, to plank, and exhale, turn to the other side, and stay. Easy in, and easy out. Don't drop your hip down. And slowly come back, with exhale, full push up to the floor. Chin on the ground, hands next to your hips for locust pose. With inhale, you will lift everything up. And we are staying in the locust pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly release, hands next to your chest, and come to child pose. Any variation you like. Wide knees, knees together, and just relax. Look in front. We will do one more variation of the plank on our forearm for our oblique muscle. This is oblique muscle which is coming like diagonal, yeah, on our, like a V-shape on our abdomen which is very important. It's remove all the fat cells which is around. It's make our waistline ladies smaller. So what you will do, I will show so you can see this way. You will come on your forearms, come into plank, and now you will just drop your uh, hip turn and put it on the ground. You are turning your feet as well, but your upper body is looking in front, and you are staying in the pose. Long inhale, and long exhale. Long inhale and long exhale. Come back and you will do another side. So I think from this point you will see it. So you are not moving your upper body, just your hips and your feet. Looking down, hips are not on the floor, up and stay. Long inhale. And long exhale. Working out, ladies. Breathing in, breathing out, and guys. 
come back to center, knees to the floor, come on tabletop pose, few cut and cow, inhale up, exhale round, inhale up, and exhale round. Come to seated pose, close your legs, and we will do Parvatasana, mountain pose, hands on the sides, and inhale, bring your hands up, join your palms together, and stay. Long inhale, and long exhale. Stomach slightly in. We are not relaxing our abdominal muscles. Here they are engaged. Our back muscles also engage in this pose. And slowly bring your hands down. And we will do one more time. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, forward bend, parallel to the floor. We are not bringing our hands to the ground. Inhale, coming up, and exhale to the side. Inhale, center, and exhale, moving to the other side. Your hands are straight. Inhale, center, and release your hands down. Few movements with your shoulders. Good. And move a little bit in front. Good. And we will come now to Navasana, half boat pose, Adha Navasana. You will bend your legs. Make sure you are sitting on your sitting bones. If you feel that you are rounding and your tailbone, your coccyx, is pressing the ground, better put some pillow, some uh, folded blanket under your hips. Yeah? And you will come to boat pose, lifting your legs up and extend your hands. Squeezing those knees together, if your knees coming out, put some block or a pillow between and squeeze with your knees. And stay. Five. Four. Another variation, you can always hug your thighs under if you're really falling down. Yeah. Two. One. Cross your legs, bring your knees down. Hands in the middle of your thighs and lift your hips up. Release down and again come into boat pose. Using your core muscles, your lower back muscles. And again cross and lift your hips up. Release, extend your legs. Bring your hands up, inhale, and exhale very slowly, using your muscle, going all the way down to the floor for Yashtikasan. You will extend your hands next to your hips first. With inhale, you will bring your hands above your head, point your toes, and stretch. Exhale, release your hands down, flex your feet. This is very good for your knees. Inhale, again, bring your hands above your head, point your toes out. Exhale, flex your feet, bring your hands down next to your hips. Try to press your lower, up, lower back to the ground. Last one, inhale, stretch. And exhale, release. And now we are coming to supine twist. No, sorry, sorry, bridge pose. <laughs> so you bend your legs. Feet hip distance. 
thighs parallel to each other. Inhale, you will lift your hips up, adjust your shoulders, clasp your hands under your hips, and you stay, pressing your feet to the ground, back of your head to the floor, engaging your glutes muscle, pushing your hips more up, and stay. Don't forget to breathe. Chin in your chest. One more long inhale. And exhale. Release your hands first. Slowly, vertebra by vertebra, bring your spine to the ground. Blast your hips. And stay there. Raising in and out. And we will do one more time. Pressing feet to the ground. Inhale, lifting hips up. Interlace your fingers. Push your chest, your hips up. Don't be shape your knees. Your knees parallel to each other. Long inhale. And long exhale, push those hips more up. Inhale. And exhale. Release your hands and very slowly bring your spine, your hips to the ground. Bend your knees to your chest. Keeping your knees closer to your chest, bring your hands to a T position to the sides. With exhale, drop your knees as high as possible next to your armpit to the right. Keep your shoulders on the ground and stay. Supine twist. So if our knees are up, Closer to our chest, we are working on our upper back, actually thoracic area, which is not that mobile as our lower back and upper back. If our knees are low, we are working on our lower back. This is important to remember. Long inhale and long exhale. Inhale, slowly bring your knees up as close to your chest as you can. And exhale, drop very gently to the other side. Look to the opposite. It's a beautiful deep twist. Your shoulders on the ground. Long inhale. And long exhale. Long inhale. And long exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. And light for your Shavasana. Lie comfortably. Feet away from each other. You can lift your head with the support of your hands. Look at your big toes. And with this lengthening of the neck, slowly bring your head to the floor. Hands slightly away from your body, palms looking up. Close your eyes. Relax your toes. My toes are relaxed. Relax your feet, your ankles. My feet 
and my ankles are relaxed. Relax your calves. My calves are relaxed. Relax your knees, your thighs. My knees and my thighs are relaxed. Relax your hips. My hips are relaxed. Relax your stomach. My stomach is relaxed. Relax your chest. My chest is relaxed. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your hands. My shoulders, arms and hands are relaxed. Relax your facial muscles. My facial muscles are relaxed. My body is fully relaxed from my toes to my hips to the crown of my head. With every exhalation, release any tension from your physical body. With every exhalation, release any tension any worries from your mind. And now bring awareness to your feet, to your hands. Slowly start to move your toes, your fingers. If you want longer shavasana, you can stay there. Bend your legs, turn to the right side. And with support of your hands, slowly come in to comfortable sitting posture. Keep your eyes closed, spine erect, chin parallel to the floor, shoulders relaxed, face muscles are softened. Join your hands in Namaste in front of your heart. Bring your hands to your forehead. Reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart. Reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to the mouth. Reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Thank you for your practice. Have a wonderful day. My gratitude to all my students. Stay happy, stay positive, read just the good news.